Right, so we are back with the M2 and leading on from the last video of having this car for a year, I wanted to go through how much I've spent on it in a year. So I have had so many questions on this car from where I got my splitter from to the wrap. So I'm gonna go over every single mod I've done to this car and every penny I've spent on it. I'm also gonna keep a tally at the bottom of the screen to see how much I've actually spent on it because some prices I'm not too sure of. I'm gonna split this video up as best as I can, but I'm going to split this up into mechanical, exterior and maintenance. Right, so I'm gonna start off by probably the quickest one, which is gonna be insurance and maintenance. For my first year of insurance with this car, which was seven years, no claims, me and Kate are on the policy, so we've got an additional driver on there as well. You're looking at about 1,900 pound, and I say you're looking at it, we got lucky with it basically, from what I'm hearing, insurance is really expensive on these cars. Then moving on to, well, what everybody else would have to pay is road tax, looking at about 350 pound road tax. I'm gonna try and keep a tally at the bottom of the screen here, just to tally up how much we spent because a lot of things I don't know the exact price of so I'll find a screenshot throw them up and uh, yeah you can get a true price of what they are then moving on to maintenance I believe we only had one service we are due another service now but I can't include that in the first year of owning the car we serviced it once before the Europe tour which I think was about four to five hundred pound for a full service spark plugs air fill or oil, oil fill things like that now moving on to the mechanical we're going to get to the exterior oh there's an M2 comp but we're gonna to get to the exterior, but there's a long list. So I'm gonna go through the quickest ones first, and then we can move on to the exterior. So moving on to the engine bay, we have, well, obviously what you can see is the inventory intake. The thing is absolutely massive. And so is the price. It's 1,450 pound. And this, all these prices are excluding fitting. So you can expect another hour's fitting, maybe at your local garage, it's gonna be between 60 to 90 pound an hour. Then I've also got a turbo smart blower valve, which is, the extra turbo noises. Uh, I believe, again, that's about 200, 220 pound, not including fitting, which shout out to Ray and Cox from uh, Auto Talk, because they fitted it for me and it took about like two hours. It was an absolute ball ache to fit. So you can expect another hour, maybe two hours of labor on top of that. Then moving on to one of my most favorite mods, which is gonna be the exhaust. The exhaust, I, it was probably one of the first mods. I can't exactly remember how much we spent on the car, but it was around a full turbo back exhaust, fully custom with the valves at the back. You're looking at about 2000 pound. Then we are also overkill for some more mods being the intercooler. The intercoolers, I believe an MST intercooler is gonna cost you about 400 450 pound i will throw up a screenshot of exactly how much it costs again this is excluding fitting all of these prices are excluding fitting i won't include them in the tally because it just starts messing around with how much labor costs and everything so we got a forged charge pipe as well and i'm going to throw up another screenshot of how much that costs plus fitting which we haven't got it fitted yet but um yeah if you don't buy one and not get it fitted and because the engine is stock i believe that's it mechanical wise and sort of engine wise and everything i do want to go stage two at some point but uh yeah we're gonna the tally is gonna keep going up basically now moving on to the exterior i have actually got a list here on my phone because i there were things coming up that i even forgot about i'm gonna go through the full exterior um as the car comes so it was the splitter kit it was the rear diffuser side skirts and rear spoiler I'm going to throw up now screenshots of all of those, maybe them all together. I don't know if there is a kit of all them together. Uh, but again, you're looking, I don't even want to guess, but you're probably looking at about £1,500 for all of the carbon, as well as the kidney grills. Then we have a second, I don't know what you call it, a wing um, that's on the windscreen. That's from Maxton Design. That was a pretty cool little touch. Uh, I do get a few comments on that. It's pretty cool. It's, it's a bit different. That's about £130, I believe, because we need all the downfalls we can get. Now I'm going to keep you, I'm going to keep you for the wrap and the wheels until the end of the video because they are the most expensive mod. Then we went over to Swift Performance just for the Europe tour and we got the carbon mud flaps as well as the stud and nut conversion. Again, this is all plus fitting. I don't know how much they cost in the end because it was with the service that we got previously. So it was all sort of as one, but you can probably see up on the screen here how much they are. And they are a cool little touch, I definitely would say Stunning that conversion is very cool just because it looks more race car vibes. And then the 
mud flats is saving the wrap otherwise i don't know if i would have got them it adds a bit more road presence it's pretty cool as well now before we had the wheels on we actually got a set of springs and spacers from r44 performance it was their stance kit so i'll try and find on their website now how much that will cost and at the time of filming i don't know if that is plus fitting or not i will try to add the tally up which is just the parts alone instead of fitting but I may do a separate tally on how much you're looking for to fit all these mods as well if you don't fit them yourself. Tints, again, you're probably looking at about 150, 170 pounds for tints. Uh, we got the front ones done, which you can't really tell. They're, again, 70%, which is the factory sort of tint. And then we've got a 95% tint on the rear and the quarter glasses, um, the rear back of the car, basically. So also a little touch on the car would be the number plate, the Yet M number plate. I think that was the cheapest one you could get and that's very surprising it being like a five digit plate but that was £154 with additional fees. A very cheap mod which everybody hates on me for is the rear reflector covers. I just didn't like them being red, I think they needed to be blanked out but I just got stick on blank out ones again. It's cheaper, it does the exact same thing, get off my case. Now pretty much going back to the first day we bought the car, we took it straight back to Lava Studios to get a full front end PPF. That again is going to cost you about £2,000. Then moving on to again, an essential mod I had to get done and I was running around trying to find it on Facebook Marketplace everywhere but I ended up getting it from eBay for £650 which was the CSL style bonnet. Now what I believe everybody has been waiting for is the wheels and the wrap. The wrap is an emerald green from Avery Dennison. It's going to cost you for the wrap depending on where you go obviously it's going to cost you between two and a half thousand pounds to probably about four thousand pounds being your top end wrappers which are most of the time not worth paying for so i'm going to keep it at the cheapest price there which is two and a half thousand pounds that's not why i paid for it but that's the cheapest i could find so far on the market then moving on to the west forged wheels they are a custom set of wheels so you do have a premium on them already retail with the wheels alone you're looking at about 2600 pounds so i spoke with west forge and they were actually really good because i said to them i don't know anything about this et and offset and like all of this numbers my oem wheels with 12 mil spacers all round fitted perfectly and i said to them i don't know if you can do that but i would essentially like them to fit the same and they said yeah we can and you can go 10 mil on the front and back bigger on the tires so instead of a 265 on the rear we went with a 275 they do sometimes scrub. I believe that's down to the shocks we've got. They are leaking a bit and they're starting to fail. So they probably wouldn't scrub as much if we had coilovers or if we just had basically decent shocks. So I also forgot about another mod that is an absolute must. One of them is a must anyway. We had JW Custom come out and he's mobile, so he'll come out to anywhere. And he fitted a Can Phantom immobilizer, which when you get in the car in simple terms, you put in any code you want in the car any four buttons and the car will not start unless those four buttons which is essentially a pin have been put in and then you can start your car and go also they come out and fitted a new updated key it's it's very cool it's like a new style touchscreen key and essentially what it does is it basically just updates your key he uses the motherboard from your original key puts it into this one and then you've got a nice new key which for me was one of the first mods and one of probably the better mods that I got done just because it's so cool and you have like a little um, page I get when you swipe over you can put your number in too so if you lose your key at any point they can call that number call you and you can go get your key back so that is it for BMW M2 for now anyway we're probably going to get some more mods in the new year if you made it this far in the video like subscribe do all of that and we'll see you on the next one